Hi guys and welcome to another Brushmaster video. Um, we've got another monthly STL review video today and this is for April 2024 and we're looking at Bestiarum Games today, their April release. Um, Bestiarum Games are one of those uh, really, I find them really strange that I love so much of what they do and there's some stuff that I just really don't like at all but I think that's part of <laughs> that sort of um, attractive um, sort of uh, addiction I have to looking at their stuff because the bits I love are just outstanding. They're, they're sort of out of this world, some of the stuff they're doing, and it's always worth getting their stuff for those few models. You know, so let's crack on here. This It's a double pack release again. Um, I'll tell you what they're called as we go along, um, but you also get the normal, the Pennington miniatures as well, which are these three in the center. So let's get to it. So the first half of the release is called The Remade. This is by far my um, better half of the release, which I really love, and there's some absolutely great models in there. Some of these are some of my favorites they've ever done. Um, and the other half is Blessed Automata. And again, this one is like one of those where I go, hmm, yeah, I don't really like the look of those, but we'll, we'll have a look at them anyway. Um, and these are the Penitent Heroes. A um, Couple of these are really cool. We'll see them later, but this Snail Brother, this guy riding the snail, I really like, and the Daughter Rat is really cool, um, but we'll get into it. Um, you also get these two 5e adventures. Um, which is very cool and this takes a lot of time to put together and I think people have to remember that that um, Behind these company. There's a whole team of people who are writing adventures Doing all the stats and then designing and concepting all the miniatures to fit in it, it It's really admirable what these companies do so my, my sort of hats off to them. It's a great job right the first one up for the remade is this this king figure and and this is one of those from bestiarum that i absolutely love this just wows me you know I, I look at this and i just think oh god it's so cool it's so dark so it, it's set right in that dark dark fantasy realm very much smacks of kingdom death and i just love it i absolutely love it beautiful model um, and then you've got these two. I, I would like it if they put the names on the pictures would be cool. But again, I like these. I like this one in particular, you know, with this big sword upright. They're very strange faces. Their bellies, tummies are doing something weird. But I, I love it. I absolutely love them. I think they're great. And this one, th this is probably my favorite in the whole pack. Um, they did some models very similar to this in earlier packs that I've painted myself that I absolutely loved. But yeah, this this whole thing with the the bone things and the blades for arms, the pose, you know, the head part. I love things like this with half the face showing. Yeah, it's incredible. I absolutely love this. And yeah, I've said in other reviews about certain companies where they don't get facial expressions right or poses right. This is an example of how to do something just right. You know, to me, this is just perfect. I love it. I'm going to get this one and paint this one for sure because she sort of ticks all my boxes, this girl. Very cool. Um, so then we've got some sort of... Uh, I suppose what you might call the fodder miniatures, the troop type miniatures, but these are very good actually. Um, again, it's all a bit NSFW. They've got boob showing, which is not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I like their headdress things, covering parts of their face. I like the leg things. Certainly this is an unusual pose. It's very good. The poses are all good. Yeah, I quite like those. And they're more of a similar sort of thing. This is more like the lady that I really liked. But again, they're pretty cool. This girl especially, I love the pose. Look at the fingers coming out. You know, this is what I mean about posing. You know, and this girl here, look, with the arms outstretched. These little touches, these are what makes models great, right? It's not fancy armor and big shields and big swords. 
it's the posing and getting things like hands and faces right is what really makes a model great and yeah even this girl here she's got her hand pointing outwards but look at her profile of her belly really excellent i mean they're just great models great posing great design um, now we come on to the blessed automata and uh, this is this is where i go a bit the other way because i don't really like these very much at all um this guy is okay but it, it's this whole aesthetic of the scrolly ornamental goldy stuff just doesn't work for me at all unfortunately um the actual model himself is okay this pipe thing is a little bit odd but yeah it, it's okay but not my type of thing completely and there's another view of him there uh henny's big look here's a comparison with a 32 mil model i guess he's a huge monster um, and there's his back piece. I mean, it's beautifully sculpted. It's really nice, but just not my thing, I'm afraid. Um, and again, we've got some big boiler type machine spider thingy. And again, the multiple faces, the way the arms are and that. It's very Kingdom Death, but like ornate Kingdom Death. But yeah, it doesn't quite hit it for me. And there's another view of it. And then we got like these roboty things. And again, these just just don't work for me at all. Uh, and again, you know, little sort of pod guys, I guess. Um, but no, not for me. Um, and then you've got this, I think these are just broken down ones as like scenic parts, you know, all bits and parts, which is a cool idea. Um, now some of the penitent heroes. Uh, this girl was the the rat daughter, I think. Really like this one. She's very cool. Again, you know, her face is cool. The body's cool. The pose is really good. All the rats coming out is very cool. Yeah, you know, she, you know, she's just a very good model. Yeah, I love her. Uh, this guy, he's okay. Um, not not my favourite. He's a bit ordinary. This guy, I love. <clears throat> and again what i've said many times is you know this whole concept about this slug snail creature this guy's riding on top of him obviously but it's it's the posing the the look on his face even though you can't see it much you can see there's this cool look the slug is posed really nicely but look it's his foot up here the indentations in the slug where his foot is sitting um, he's holding this thing up, doing whatever, the way this hand sits on the leg. The posing is fantastic, you know, and that's what makes these models so cool. I love that one. And there's just the reverse side of it. So you can see all like the wormy things coming out of the backpack or the, the hoard or whatever you want to call it. Overall, very good. <clears throat> this one's a, a very hard one for me to give sort of a judgment on because half of it I absolutely love like the the remade uh is just wonderful every model i really like it's just brilliant um and then the other ones the automata ones i literally don't like a single thing in that pack you know i just do not like them at all the penitent heroes really good two out of three is fantastic um and, and i i find myself a lot with best hero miniatures like this where like i said i would still buy this pack for the really good miniatures you know there's a good eight maybe ten miniatures that i would love to paint so it's absolutely worth buying and subscribing but i think with bestiarum you do get this you get like this complete juxtaposition between half of the models are absolutely great and to me half of the models are really not um but overall i'm, I'm going to say a hit because i like half the models so much they're very good what do you think, guys? Um, do you like this release? And what do, what do you think about Bestium Games overall? So let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for another Brushmaster video.